Hi, I'm Kathy from Blairvies. Welcome back to the next episode of our Walk and Talk. You might have seen our video last fall on pruning hydrangeas. Well, we're back this spring to talk about which hydrangeas you should prune now. But before we go outside, I'd like to show you the proper tools for pruning hydrangea. So we'll start with the ones you shouldn't use. These are just kitchen shears. Don't use these. These are awesome little pruners, but more for house plants. Don't take these outside. These are um, heavy duty ratchet pruners. They're awesome. They help you um, prune shrubs, smaller shrubs, things with less diameter on the, um, the branches. These are used for trees. These are loppers. They're up to one and a half inch tree branches you can use these for. But the proper technique and the proper tool to use are these um, bypass pruners. This happens to be Felco brand. But what you'd be looking for is any kind of bypass pruner. And they're called bypass pruners, if you can see closely. The blades actually bypass each other when they close. It just makes pruning shrub branches a lot easier. So let's go outside and prune some hydrangea. Hi, we're outside now, ready to prune hydrangeas. But I do want to caution you, if you don't know what hydrangea you have, put your pruners down. This is an oak leaf hydrangea. We don't prune these in the spring. We only prune those to shape after they're done blooming. Two other varieties you don't want to prune in the spring are big leaf, macrophyllas, or serratas. They're also called mountain hydrangeas. So don't prune those in the spring, you'll cut the loops off. Let's go find some Annabelle's to prune now. Hi, we're over by the Annabelle's. Remember in the fall, I said you can prune them back in the fall, but I personally like to leave the blooms on all winter for some winter interest. But since it's spring, it's time to prune them back. So let me show you where to prune them. I like to leave them about a foot above ground, gives them a little extra strength when they're pushing out new foliage to keep those big flower heads up and about. So we're gonna go down here, cut it down to me. Well, that's about 18 inches, but we'll cut them down to a set of buds. And I'm just gonna be messy about this. And it's just that simple. I just wanted to show you again, where to cut back. Make sure you get the buds. So you see where I pruned it? It's right above a set of buds. So that make sure you do that when you're cutting back. So now let's go over and we will prune a panicle hydrangea. Hi, we're outside with a panicle hydrangea now. You can tell it's a panicle because it's got a pointy flower. Most panicles have a pointed flower, but not all of them do. So again, know your hydrangea before you start pruning. Panicles typically get larger, although there are some dwarf varieties, but they'll typically get up to, up to 10 foot. So we wanna keep this one a little shorter. We can prune off about a third of it to keep it um, in check and it won't hurt the blooms. So well, again, we're gonna go about a third down. I'm gonna prune it to about here. Again, you can see the two buds, oops. And I'm gonna prune it down to about there. These bypass pruners work wonderful for these big stems. So thanks for joining us on this hydrangea walk and talk. If you'd like more information about hydrangeas or if you'd like to see more videos, please go to our website at learys.com or follow us on Facebook and YouTube. Thanks again.